Hi, this is Xtal. In this tutorial, we'll create Expanding Horizons, Wide Lens Fusion FX by using Lens Distort and Ramp Nodes to merge two videos into a wide cinematic composition. Through this process, you'll learn how to add an experimental mood and bring a unique character to your visuals. We start by loading the footage with a movie file in Node and connecting it to a Lens Distort node. This simulates camera lens distortion to add depth to the image. By adjusting the parameters, we can create a sense of horizontal expansion. By tweaking the lens distort parameters, the image stretches horizontally and creates a unique warped effect. This makes the footage unfold like a printed strip, adding an experimental mood to the visuals. We bring in a second video and connect it to a lens distort node to apply the same distortion. This way, both sources are transformed consistently, allowing for a smoother blend in the next step. We add a ramp node to create a mask for blending the two videos. With a horizontal gradient, it allows one source to transition smoothly into the other. We use an LFO chop to animate the transition of the ramp. By adjusting frequency and amplitude, the two videos merge dynamically with continuous motion. We connect the LFO output to the phase parameter of the ramp, making the gradient shift automatically. This creates a continuous transition between the two videos, producing a dynamic, print-like effect.
we use an overnode to composite the two videos with the ramp mask. This creates a unique visual where each source prints across the screen, expanding into a wide cinematic blend. We adjust the colors of the ramp to create instant mood changes in the composition. By shifting the hues, the same structure takes on completely different atmospheres. The blur node is applied to refine the edge transitions and stabilize the overall flow. This step ensures that the lens distortion and compositing merge seamlessly, resulting in a more cinematic and polished visual output. The edge node is used to extract the outlines and emphasize structural details of the footage. This adds a graphical layer to the distorted imagery, enhancing the experimental quality with sharper and more defined visuals. The overnode is used to integrate the outputs processed with blur and edge into the final compositing structure. Blur smooths the transitions and refines the boundaries between the sources, while edge emphasizes the outlines and structural details to enhance visual clarity. As these components are merged within the overnode, the two lens distorted videos blend harmoniously within a stable flow, resulting in a polished visual effect that combines both depth and definition with a high level of refinement. The bloom node is applied to introduce a glow effect to the brighter areas of the composition. 
This enhances the highlights of the blended scene and provides a sense of depth and atmosphere. When combined with the refinements from Blur and the structural emphasis from Edge, the bloom effect diffuses the details in the transitions, ultimately producing a richer and more polished cinematic mood. The level node is used to fine-tune the gamma and contrast of the composition. At this stage, the adjustments serve to refine the final output, stabilizing the overall color balance and enhancing the clarity of details. By controlling the gamma, depth is introduced into the darker regions, while contrast adjustments strengthen the structural definition of the entire scene, resulting in a more cohesive and cinematic finish. Finally, the out node is connected to organize the entire network into a renderable output. At this stage, the workflow combines lens distortion expansion, ramp-based transitions, refinements from blur and edge, and final corrections with bloom and level. The out node consolidates all these processes into a single deliverable composition, ensuring that every element developed throughout the workflow is rendered cohesively as the final visual output. This concludes our walkthrough of Expanding Horizons, Wide Lens Fusion FX. Starting from simple lens distortion, we progress through dynamic transitions with ramp and LFO, refinements with blur and edge, and final touches with bloom and level, each step merging seamlessly into a cohesive visual outcome. I encourage you to adapt these techniques in your own work, expanding your projects with new perspectives and achieving results with greater depth. This has been Extal, and thank you for joining me.